Now I'm going to show you how to set the time on your new Rolex Submariner 116610LN with the date. So first you unscrew the crown counterclockwise until it clicks open. Okay, there we go. So then you're going to want to wind it. So you do that by turning it clockwise. 20 to 30 times should do. Okay, now you can click it out one more click to the middle position. The middle position is where you set the date. So again, you turn it clockwise and then the date changes. I usually set the date first and I leave it one day before the actual date. That way when I set the time and the date rolls over, I know it's set to AM the first 12 hours instead of PM the second 12 hours. Today's the 9th, so I'm going to set it to the 8th. Okay, there we go. Now this is a hacking movement. That means that the second hand will stop when you set the time. I always like to stop the second hand exactly at 12 o'clock, so I'll just wait till it goes around. So to do that, you pull it out to the very last position exactly when you want it to stop. There we go. So that's about one second before, but that's great. Then I scroll clockwise until the date changes. So you see it didn't click over, so that tells me I have to go around one more time. Okay, so it clicked over, so that's AM. But it's PM now. So I'm going to have to keep turning. So it's 9.23 right now. And I'd like to set it a couple of minutes past what the actual time is. So I'm going to set it at 9.25. I use my cell phone as a reference because the time is automatically set by the cellular carrier. So it's usually pretty accurate. So I'm just going to watch my phone. And as soon as the time changes to the time that I set on the watch, which in this case is 9.25, I'm going to hurry up and push the crown in all the way. You don't have to worry about screwing it in yet, just make sure the second hand started moving. Then you can make sure it's set exactly how you want it. So I'm still watching my phone, it's 9.24 right now and it's about to turn 9.25. I left myself one second of delay here. That's the second it takes me to see that it turned to 9.25 and actually push the crown in. And there it goes, so now I'm going to push it in. Perfect. So now I just make sure that the second hand is moving and that the time and the date is exactly how I want it. Now to screw it back in, you push and hold pressure and turn clockwise. Well, what I like to do is turn it counterclockwise until I feel it catch the thread. There it goes. And then I can turn it clockwise. And it catches every time without stripping that way. And that's how to set the time on your new Submariner watch. Well guys, if you're still watching, you must have liked the video. And if you did, give it a like. If you want to see more watch unboxings and reviews like this, subscribe and click the bell. If you've got some extra time on your hands, why not watch another one? You can choose one from the playlist that will appear here after I disappear. Or you can just play the next one in the playlist, which will also appear here. See you in the next one.